What's up gamers and welcome back to another episode of the Journey to Rank 1 Preservation Evoker. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's go over what our IO is, what gear we've received, um, and finally finish off with what is in our vaults. So let's start off. We are 414 equipped, 415 in bags. Um, so let's start with the headpiece because I actually did get a 415 helm drop from uh, Mythic Raid, from, actually from Aranog. Um, so I'm definitely looking, if I don't get headpiece tier in my vault, I'm definitely looking to make sure now that this is the first week of Catalyst, well, I'm looking to turn this headpiece into tier. So that's really huge for me. Um, as far as other changes, um, I want to say this back piece may be new for you guys. I'm not sure if I had it last week, uh, but this back piece is new for me. Uh, I Valor capped my uh, Voidmender Shadow Gem Trinket up to 415. Uh, I think the next thing I want to Valor cap would probably be this Moat of Sanctification. Uh, the reason I did the... Actually, hold on, let me check because I actually... Uh, yep. I forgot to put that on, but let's go ahead and change that to save that there. Uh, but so yeah, I actually got a little bit more out. So I got 405 waste I got a drop from. So I'm probably actually going to Valor cap that off too to 415. Um, unless something bigger and yeah, more enticing comes in my vault. Uh, but the next thing I do want to get is my moat trinket up. Uh, the reason why is because I do want to... Uh, it's really good for healing. Uh, but the reason I got the crit one up first is because I actually kind of been playing around with Debbie Evoker. I, I know this is mainly a preservation evoker journey, but uh, on some of my off keys, I kind of been doing some Debbie Evoker, just messing around on it, and I kind of been liking it. So I'm, this may turn into the journey of a rank one preservation slash devastation evoker. We'll see how that goes. But um, to kind of show you up where I cleaned up some of my keys, I know uh, last week. Um, tyrannical I had a lot of these keys a little bit lower so I think this 19 I got a failed 19 AV uh, I think this actually I had this lower I think my ruby was only like a 15 so I got a timed 18 for that I think my halls of valor was also lower so this got brought up uh, still have a failed 20 temple my Academy man I tried a 21 if you guys will see from the last kit I had a 20 um, Algathar Academy and actually you'll see me DPSing in that key where I had the DH who was trying the uh, LOS strat for Veximus that is now patched so does not no longer worked um, but yeah if you guys want to see something funny you need to check that video out I wasn't able to find a Shadow Moon 20 I don't know why this key is so elusive for me on Tyrannical weeks but um, got that 20 time no offensive on both weeks now so that's really good and I do have a time 21 court here. And so I'm looking to maybe bring this up to an actual time 21 court. So that'll be really good. Outside of that, uh, pretty much I'm at the point where I kind of just need to get some time 20s done and start pushing a little bit further. So hoping to maybe start approaching 2700. We'll see. Uh, once at this level, what I found is it's really hard to kind of move the IO too many notches. Um, it's unfortunate, but I kind of have to wait for pugs to kind of catch up because I've been in groups with 2,800, 2,900 players, and it's been pretty rough. Um, it's, you know, it, I've seen a lot of players with what, what I like to call inflated IO, where they have like timed 18s all across and timed 19s, and so their IO would be a lot larger than if they actually started trying, attempting some of these 20s, um, which, you know, I kind of am at the point where I just rather go for 20s. Um, but yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of people with higher IO, but when it comes to doing 20s, they don't have as much experience with either the damage um, or the healing um, in certain cases. So, uh, But that's that. Let's open the vault. Let's make sure we're in the right loot spec. I still want to open it up in preservation because I would like a higher chill globe um, trinket. I have a 389. Um, I know we had one available in our vault last time, but let's see what we can get out of the vault this time. All right, so let's see. So we have two, and another chill global awaits us. Man, the game really wants me to take this trinket. Um, so getting this out the way, so I may end up taking this. I do have 421 hands, so I won't be taking that. This is my mythic slot, by the way. This is, I killed two mythic bosses. That's my mythic choice here. Um, 
I did get this trinket actually dropped in game. I traded it to a guildy, so I won't be looking to grab that. It's a neck piece, so this is kind of troll, especially since Lariat exists. Um, definitely, this is never going to be taken. I already have 421 legs, um, even though these are tier. I don't really need it because I already have four piece, so I probably won't be taking that. The shoulders are tier, and they are an upgrade, so that could be uh, at least an eye level upgrade. But I think I'm probably going to end up going with this chill globe because I do want and need it for raid. Um, and as devastation, I can actually also use it too. So I'm probably going to end up going with this chilled globe. I know higher tier, uh, higher tier uh, shoulders would be I had my higher item level tier would be shoulders would be good. But especially since now my guild's starting to prog more uh, mythic, I'm gonna need the show globe a lot more, so I think I'm gonna actually go with that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, make sure you guys check out the next video. Uh, it's either gonna be some more dungeon stuff. Um, and on Saturdays and Sundays, I do stream my raid, so make sure you guys tune in there if you guys wanna see how the raid goes. Other than that, thanks for watching.